today we are honored to recognize these outstanding men and women uh, and all the teachers like them who have always had and will continue to have such an important impact on our lives. Uh, so with that, uh, I would like to present Michelle with her apple. Most teachers aren't as genuine as she is. She really doesn't hide any of her her personality from you. She, uh, she she's authoritative, so she's she does she demands respect. But, but if you allow her to to teach you um, and and give her respect, she will really o open up to you. I, I'm establish a relationship with each one of her students. I think Miss Shear deserves it because she's like the best teacher I've ever had and she like goes the extra mile to make sure her students are prepared and stuff that a lot of other teachers don't do. So I remember taking chemistry because our um, we're required to take it when we're freshmen and she made you just want to be so passionate about it and do you know study so hard and do your best you know just keep improving and yeah. I, I think it's great that our Vanna High School gets national recognition with, for Miss Shear's achievement. Miss Shear definitely deserved it. From the very first day we got to class, she just made you want to keep coming. And when it came around for a second semester and what classes you were going to keep, which classes you were going to drop, no one wanted to drop this class. Everyone loved it. Some of her former students have gone on to become science and math teachers themselves, applying the techniques they learned in the classroom to make a tough subject manageable and fun. One student wrote, you have not only shown me how to be the best chemistry student I can be, but also the best person I can be. If you look around her classroom, she has um, an area where she's cut out comics. Uh, uh, comics having to do with, with, with chemistry and biology. And that's probably the first, the first really eclectic thing I, I, um, I noticed about her, that she, she tries to apply it. To, to the real world versus just, just textbook. Yeah, because she cares about her students. Like a lot of teachers don't like, they don't care what we get on the exam, but like she made us a calendar of like different things we need to study every day and stuff. Like she really wants us to do well, so yeah. I remember when we were taking our first multiple choice practice test and I was like so nervous. I was like, you know, I don't really do well on like standardized tests. I do well on like normal tests, but not standardized. And she was like, you know, Think about it like this, you can, it, it'll be a great day, you know, you just got to keep thinking, you know, it's a great, it's going to be a great day, you know, always positive. She wants everyone to do their, you know, 100% best at everything. She typed up her pep talk so every day you could like read it and just know what you need to focus on and she was here almost every day for tutoring so she just gave you a lot of extra help and she never wanted anyone to fail and she's just made me love it and I thought I was going to be the worst person in this class. <laughs> Thank you for being such a great teacher, motivating uh, me to excel in the class and earn that college credit. I'm super proud of you, Ms. Sharon. Um, I'm really grateful because if I do well in this exam, it's because I had you for a teacher because I'm not good at chemistry at all. So. My classroom bulletin boards are covered with pictures of students I've taught over the past 14 years. Students who are my daily inspiration to continue my commitment to teaching. A profession that requires a tremendous investment of personal energy and time, one that calls for love, compassion, and dedication. And as we continue to debate ideas, allocate resources, and implement change, we must make progress in a positive direction and always, always, always see the faces of our students. Thank you.